welcome back to my channel it is i naturally tatted and you are tuned in for another makeup video and today's makeup video is going to be on how i created this look you see right here using the morphe 39a palette guys this palette has literally been my go-to palette i have not been able to use anything besides this 39a palette it's literally amazing it has all the transition colors that you need um shimmery shadows transition colors like literally everything i absolutely love this palette so i was very excited to film with this palette today i also got to incorporate the le bronze in um the jackie aina collab with artist couture and i was so excited to get my hands on this because it's so beautiful and who doesn't love jackie aina hello so yes you guys i hope you guys enjoy this look if you did you know the deal do not forget to subscribe to my channel before we move on to the next clip make sure you subscribe leave me some comments down below on what you guys think of this look and i will see you guys in my next one bye okay you guys so first things first i'm going to prep my eyes because i always do well i do my eyebrows first and then i do my eyeshadow but i always apply concealer before i put on my shadows um and then i'm going to set that with the La mercier translucent powder nothing new it's just what i've really found to work best for me i just feel like it really gives me a good canvas to put all my eyeshadows on so we're going into the morphe 39a palette and i freaking love this palette like it's become like my new favorite like seriously so i'm going into my first shade and that's our transition color and this is probably my favorite um shadow out of the palette because it's just so pretty like it has this really nice orange undertone but it's all around like a brown, um, really pretty, I keep saying really pretty, but it's literally really pretty like transition shade. So I'm going to um, distribute this all into my crease and blend it out. And then I'm going to go into a mauve shade. I'm going to apply that um, kind of right below it, but I'm also going to kind of drag it into the inner part of my eye as well. So next I'm going to go into a brown eyeshadow in that same palette and I'm going to focus this just in the outer part of my eye. I am eventually going to blend it into my crease but once this color is kind of distributed and I'm going to use my crease color to kind of just blend out the harsh lines from that dark brown eyeshadow. But you will see me going back and forth and just blending both of them into each other so that you cannot see where they start and stop. And then of course I'm going to cut my crease. This is just something that I've kind of just incorporated in my everyday makeup style because I really like the way it looks. I like the way it shapes my eye and yeah I've just been sticking with it so i actually don't set it with translucent powder anymore i let the concealer dry down first and then i apply the eyeshadow on top so you'll see in this clip that i do uh, initially apply it with my finger and then i kind of go in with a brush a smaller detail brush just to kind of get in those fine lines because listen cut creases they're they're a little time consuming so you don't want to mess up your hard work so take your time with this part go in with the brush if you need to to kind of fine tune and make everything nice and smooth and perfect Okay, so after applying all of that shadow, I'm going to take a makeup wipe and wipe down my face to remove any fallout. And of course, I'm going to moisturize and prime my skin before foundation. And today's foundation is going to be the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This foundation is bomb as hell. Like, ever since I've reviewed it, I haven't worn it every day because it is a full coverage foundation. You know, some days you just it's just not some type of days not to mention this foundation is a more expensive foundation so you know everyday foundations this is not it but honey when you want to go out and be snatched and make sure your makeup is on all night this is it like this thing don't budge and it it photographs so beautifully like literally like 
like filter is like an understatement it's it's so beautiful so so beautiful so you guys know the drill as far as my complexion goes i like to highlight now i do cream contour though which i really feel like it adds a lot more definition into my skin because normally i'll just like bronze but i really feel like the cream contour it's an extra step it's more stuff to do yes but i feel like i like the overall end result i feel like it looks just way more defined and you can really see my cheekbones and like everything just pops more so um yeah i really think i'm definitely going to be taking this into 2018 with me because like i said i wasn't really doing it a lot before honestly because i was being lazy and i just didn't want to blend out a cream contour but i did it one day and i was like oh this made a huge freaking difference <laughs> So after applying my contour highlight, I'm now going in with my foundation brush with a little bit of foundation on it. And I'm just blending and going over all of those areas that I apply my highlight and contour just so everything really blends together and you don't see where, you know, the highlight starts and stops. Then we're going to set those highlighted areas with the translucent powder by Laura Mercier. This has just been my go-to. I really do love this product. Um, it really blends into your skin so nicely and it doesn't leave you ashy. And then I'm going to set my contour areas using the Black Radiance Contour um, Shade in that kit. I, yeah, I really like this. I want to find a new contour color, but for now it'll work. So I already applied my lashes and liner off camera and I am just lining my lower lash line. I believe that's with a NYX liner. So I'm just going to apply that on my lower lash line and then I'm going to blend it out with that first crease color we applied and then I'm going to go in with the second crease color that we applied and I'm just applying that and sweeping that across my lower lash line I like it a little bit more messy today hmm so time for highlighter i did spray my face with the fix plus already by the way so the jackie aina highlighter kit duo beautifulness love this stuff it's so so gorgeous and it's so buttery it's so buttery i was not expecting this like greatness this is my first artist couture highlighter so i just did not know what i was in for like Clearly, I was feeling myself. So I'm just applying this in all areas where I like to glow. Y'all know I love to glow. And this highlighter is oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. It's so beautiful. I really, really loved how this, like, came out. It literally gave me, like, the perfect amount of, like, highlight and, like, shine and glitter and glam. And I was just here for it. And, of course, I put that same highlighter in my tear duct because... I just love doing that. It really helps open up your eyes. And I'm also going to apply it in my brow bone as well. So moving on to lips, I'm just lining my lips with um, the NYX Lip Liner in brown. And today's lip is going to be a nice pinky nude. So I'm just using Velvet Teddy by MAC to put that all over my lips to blend that into our lip liner. And then I'm going to top off this lip with the Too Faced Lip Injections Gloss and in Spice Girl to give me a nice, you know, finish overall look. And yes, you guys, this is the end of this video. Let me know if you guys think about this look. And yes, am I servant or what? Mmm, with these slow-mos. Yes. <laughs>